today um, checking on our cows that were up at our other property. These three right here with the blue tags are ours. Bulls looking good. That is Colby's dad's over there. She is about to pop any day now. We're bringing on some hay. Hopefully it don't go down that hill. That'd yeah, be pretty funny. Hill, we're not, we're right where we're. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Hey, hey, so let's we get, just come out here to check on them. Let's get the hay ready. See how they are doing. It's a big old guy right there. Stay, stay in the car. That's Ginger right there, yeah, because she's got that. That's Ginger. And that's Holly. Those big ears, that big ears, kind of their lower set, got a higher crown. I can't tell them before. That's one big old boy. Hey, <laughs> he is big. Right, I'm going to give him some feed right quick. Apparently, she's the leader of the pack out here. gonna be her first baby is it so this will be her second third, third. Second. second or third baby oh they know what's over there check on our what we call our big cows our beef cows we've got like misty said the the two little ones right there with the blue tags and then the big bull are ours and the rest are some families but we had to drop them all some hay they're eating grass and they've got a good bit of grass down here but we're fixing to start doing some heavy paddocks and heavy cross fencing here um this was one big big field so they had plenty of grass but to make them eat everything just like i said at our house with our paddocks we're going to cross fence this and have three or four big big paddocks and make them be usually three or four day rotation. So that's what we're fixing to work on uh, in the next few days or weeks. But I uh, just want to go and give them some hay. Uh, we've got 
the white one right there, which is not ours, uh, she's fisting the calf. She's getting real ready. She's uh, she's bagging up. Also, that uh, big, the big black one right there, on the other side of the the feeder, she's she's bagging up pretty heavy too. Uh, then our two, and then this little one right here, is not ours, but she's she's uh, she's bred. She's probably light bred. So uh, our bull's doing his job, I think. So um, they're all looking good. We're happy to to get this done, and we just fed them a little bit. Now we're gonna go finish out the rest of the day at the house. Hey y'all, so we just finished digging up our carrots that were over in one of our raised beds. Um, we left two because they had flowers on them and those are gonna go to seed. So um, what I'm gonna do with these is put these, we're gonna cook some tonight. We're gonna um, clean them real well and I'm gonna cut them up and we're gonna put them in the freezer so that we'll be able to use these over the fall and winter. And the ones that have flowers on them that have um, the flower heads at the top, we're gonna let those go to seed. So when those pretty much look completely dead, we're gonna gather those seeds and come this late summer, early fall, we will replant those seeds again and hopefully have another wonderful harvest of our carrots. And what we'll do is we're gonna go and show you the two that's still seeding because they've gotten big and it shows that you could use just two uh, two carrots basically can make a ton of seeds. So I'm going to show you those right quick. On the way, you can see the lettuce. Misty's got it almost ready uh, to harvest it. It's going to seed as well. We just, if you remember, this is where the potatoes were, um, where the girls and Aiden dug up the potatoes. Now we've got uh, all peppers planted uh, from the greenhouse. It's about 50 peppers planted. So they're doing good and really strong compost. And then here's the asparagus, but here's here's what I want to show you. Basically, two carrots. We left two carrots, three carrots, excuse me, in the ground. Uh, but look at this. Off those three carrots, we've got all these seed heads. So off just three carrots, we will make a ton of new seed uh, for next season. So real excited about that. Um, again, it shows how. Uh, just one carrot can make a ton of seed for next season and we can harvest the rest. So uh, we're excited about that We've got parsley going to seed. We're gonna let it go to seed uh, It seems like when we were not letting it go to seed and we were cutting the cuttings off uh, It started getting real woody at the bottom. So we decided to let it go to seed so we could have new fresh parsley So real excited um, and again, it kind of is a different transition because you start getting a lot of the, the winter and spring garden items out of the way just for pure summer garden. So we're planting just tomatoes just about everywhere that uh, we have holes and peppers too so some sunflower seeds some sunflowers that were dying um, just kind of coming to their last day so I've gotten their seeds and I've come over here to the side of the pig pen and I'm just going around the pig pen and planting those um, I'm hoping that all along the sides down there on the bottom and I'm hoping that they'll come up and grow up around the pig pen I planted some really big ones and some small ones kind of together so um, I'm hoping that they'll grow up around the edges of the pig pen 
see like down that side right there it's just real plain so hoping to give it a little pop of color over here um, i'm planting them and we're gonna keep them watered so we'll see i'm sure the pigs will appreciate some color around their pen peppa you want some flowers you want some flowers? Hey pigs! That's what we call them when they get ready to eat. They know that. Hey pigs! Mm. Wagging the little piggy tails. Hey, pigs! We've also cleaned up the chicken coop, and we've got some that are enjoying that. And while they're enjoying new bedding, our flower beds are going to be in. I say flower beds. Our raised beds are going to be enjoying. These are new plants. Let me tell you what the deal is with some of these. Some of these that don't look too hot down there. So when it started getting in the upper 90s here in the deep south, if I don't go in my greenhouse and water every single day, it hits about 110 in there. And if I get busy and let the day go by, my plants will start looking absolutely terrible. So, um, before I realized this, we let an, a day go by when we were going out of town, and I got back home the next day, come and went. It was the early, uh, late afternoon, excuse me. I went out there and um, thought I was going to lose every single one of them. So, I watered them. They look okay. So, we went ahead and got them in the ground, and we've just kind of been babying them out here. All these beds have fresh bedding from the chickens it has worked wonders here i think colby talked to y'all about that if not it did and we also are trying to revamp our strawberry plants um between the worms and everything that has attacked those i sprayed those with neem oil um did not dilute it i was so aggravated as soon as i got home with the neem oil i sprayed those down ended up killing all my leaves um, because I didn't dilute it I used it concentrated and um, so we've we've kind of been trying to baby this bed back up uh, so fresh bedding uh, fresh uh, compost in there from the chicken bedding the old chicken bedding so we're just gonna get some water on this and hopefully get that back going now I have been contemplating what to do with broody and as soon as she gets back in her on, over here in her little pen on her egg she's hanging out up there on the post right now she's the one standing beside the red one up there but as soon as she, i can get my hands on her i've created a spot over here with the little chickens and i'm going to let her stay on 10 eggs so i've created her little space She'll be able to get water in there. She'll be able to come down here and stretch her legs when she wants. Um, we'll be feeding them. So she'll be, of course, eating with them. Um, we're waiting on these to get big enough to go over here. With the bigger chickens, I've already incorporated some of them that we hatched out from the incubator. Our first batch has already gone in. Um, these are still a little bit too little so um, we just put that one back and moved the other set over here I don't even see them right now um, they're not fully happy over there yet so they stay hidden from the biggest chickens um, but we've seen no signs of um, them getting bullied yet um, just right when we initially put them together uh, boss hen and boss rooster let them know who the boss was and then um, after that we uh, they, they've seemed to do pretty well over there they just don't hang out together so we're going to um, 
put Rudy over here, see how she does. Watch the little baby chicks with her. I think she'll be okay. Um, last time I marked eggs, some of them disappeared. So I know that I have 10 in there. I have her a good space. And we're just gonna see how it goes. And what do we say, Aiden? Mm -hmm. Happy old Samuel.